Hello, Internet. This is Bone Carlos coming to you live from Ohana to bring you uh, a StarCraft 2 commentary. One that I haven't done in what it feels like three years since I've done my last one. It's been so long, but uh, there's a reason for that. There is a reason for that. I've been doing a lot of uh, real life stuff. It's been keeping me quite busy. And when you only have an hour of free time on your hands, you just kind of just don't want to do anything. So I apologize for all my thousands and thousands and maybe even millions of viewers out there. Uh, if you guys have been impatient with my output of the videos. But um, there was a reason and there is a reason and I hope you guys do forgive me. For those of you that don't know me, I am Bone Carlos. I'm currently 6'1", 230 pounds. Yes, I'm a little bit overweight, but I'm okay with that. I do not have a lean body, but that's A-OK. -okay. I enjoy um, alcohol, obviously, since I am enjoying one right now. Long walks on the beach. I do like to cuddle and I am a good listener. For those of you interested, too bad! I already have a girlfriend, and uh, she charges very much. She's very, uh, she charges a lot for my services. So, uh, so much so that no one has uh, taken up on their propositions. Yeah, I think she just somewhere along the neighborhood is a five grand, and most chicks just laugh at that. I'm not sure why. True story. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing that is because Barney Stinson is looking at me uh, at the corner of my peripheral vision. Uh, from my TV screen, yep. I have How I Met Your Mother Season 4 on uh, the TV right now, but forget about that. What the hell am I talking about? We have a StarCraft 2 game going on right now, going on between Wuzigzion, spawning as the red Zerg, his opponent is going to be Rai, the blue Protoss players, and already something a little bit different. He's going to go ahead and put his pylon behind his uh, mineral line at his main base with the forge. His, um... Natural expansion it is already underway. Generally, you see a forge fast ascend here uh, with the forge here, cannon here, and then finishing it off maybe with a uh, pylon here and then a gateway here to finish off uh, that wall off. But really, Rai has something else in mind already. The forge is, I would say, about 75% done. Um, and I do believe I have the. Is it normal? No, it is faster. Yep. It should be in faster speed is what we're looking at right now. Uh, next is about 75% done. So it's going to be a little bit of an awkward uh, Forge Fast Expand. And already Wuxian sees this, spots this, knows this. And it's going to go ahead and try to punish this by turning out six lings right off the bat. Going to go ahead and try to get past these uh, this Photon Cannon very quickly. And it looks like the Zerglings are already across the middle of the field. Rai does spot them. He's going to go ahead and try to put his probes in an advantageous position to be able to build something blocked this off and there it goes two pylons zoo go down and that early aggression by Wu is done the full town cannon is up one shot does go off brings down a single zergling down to half half health uh, Rai says wow I'm so bad no not really Rai you actually are a-okay uh, you managed to block this off you pretty much cost yourself 25 minerals by only putting up that pylon and just canceling it off you're already putting down uh, Cybernetic score up very, very quickly, right on the money. Uh, and really, I would say in this situation, Wu is pretty much behind just a little bit. He wasted three larva uh, to pull out those early six lings, when really most of the time, uh, whenever uh, a Forge Fast Expand does happen, uh, most of the players only use uh, a single larva, four lings. Uh, just to keep one at the front of the base and then maybe one here at the back roaches are already on the field So six lings it looks like uh, five roaches. So whoa -ho -ho, Four roaches, so this is gonna be a very interesting situation and already right has a feeling that's gonna come down He's already chrono boosting out his stalker chrono boosting out warp gate research and here comes the attack This zealot is going to go down fairly quickly this roach is gonna go ahead and focus fire down at this photon cannon This zealot already has one to manage to get one more before it goes down now it's going to be a pure photon cannon versus a zergling fight the stalker is here to reinforce the photon cannon does go down and right is forced to pull off major amounts of probes to be able to defend this Wu is going to go ahead and try to micro his way out of this or into this and going to go ahead and try to take down whatever he can takes down a couple of probes already he's going to go ahead and go back and forth looks like Rai is going to try to focus fire down at this injured roach but really 
this dancing back and forth is taking a lot of these probes down. Finally, two roaches or two stalkers are on the field. The three roaches decide to head on home. Finally, after all that, looking at the workers kill count, seven workers killed for Wu. So that was a very interesting trade. Any uh, disadvantage he had at the beginning of the game by using those three larvae, four zerglings have been pretty much just caught up since the harvester count is exactly equal. And at this time, uh, in a forge, quote unquote, fast expand. Uh, the Protoss player definitely does have the advantage. An extra gateway is going down. Uh, it looks like a sentry is being put out. So uh, right now, Rai is, <laughs> has no saturation in his main. His rally is uh, finally there on his main uh, mineral patch while the one for his expansion is down on his expansion. So he already has a nice saturation at his natural expansion. None at his main. Looks like the gateways are still being put down. So Sentry, Immortal, All-In, maybe still on the table for Rai, but not so sure of that just yet. A stalker's going to go ahead and scatter around and see what's going on in Wu's base. And he's going to go ahead and have a free look. Maybe get a free uh, kill. And he does manage to get a single kill. These uh, three stalkers, or three uh, roaches, are still there. And uh, that is it for that. Stalker's going to go ahead and have to retreat on home with his yellow hole damage but he's gonna go ahead and scout out and see if that third base is up and yep he's gonna go ahead and scout out see that third base is up stalker is more than likely going to go down a couple volleys of that acid he spit do bring it down so now it's pretty much uh settled into uh pretty much the basis of uh pvz especially on ohana with a century immortal island we already have double evo chamber for Wu. uh already have a lair tech on the field three uh, expansions for him along that side plenty of sentries for riot looks like a couple more gateways are being produced uh no signs of a robotic bay, robotic bay just yet uh right definitely does have the minerals and vespin gas to be able to start turning that but no plus one is being researched not sure if that was just forgotten or uh, maybe that's not part of his overall build. There goes that robotics facility. Uh, three, two to three minutes late, but mostly due to the fact of that early aggression uh, by Wu taking out so many workers and really just delaying the timing on all uh, of this robotic, uh, of this immortal sentry play. It is very favored by Protoss versus Zerg on Ohana. And from what I've learned and from what I've known is that to, as a Zerg to stop uh, a sentry immortal, uh, push is to pretty much just delay as much as possible. What the Zerg player wants to do is uh, pull up massive amounts of roaches, obviously, but at the same time have Infestor back up. The only way to do that is just to delay, to delay, to delay, and a little bit of a slip up by Rai losing a couple of sentries needlessly. Uh, and a couple of more uh, roaches are going to go ahead and reinforce and focus down as many uh, sentries as possible. One more does go down, so three sentries have been taken out. So uh, delay, delay, delay is all you want to be able to do as well. He doesn't have the units on the field to be able to support this at the moment. Ten uh, roaches are just a pop in production. Three, five, six more are on the field. No Zerglings to be able to do any sort of swing by surround uh, whatsoever. And looks like uh, Wu is just trying to focus down as many sentries as possible. Sentries are split off from the Stalker Force, and they're going to go ahead and meet a huge mass of roaches, and the Force Fields do go down, but the third one doesn't finish off that complete Force Field wall off. Now it's going to be pure Sentry, or pure uh, Stalker versus Roach, and generally, uh, Roaches do win that engagement, but not if they are in insufficient numbers. It looks like we're going to go and try to take down these destructible rocks to be able to uh, better attack and engage all around. And Rise is going to try to focus down at this hatch, but that is a okay because the Roaches are there as backup. Zealots are there to try to pick apart these Roaches. Drones in the mix of the fight. Warpins do continue to commence. Uh, looks like a setter step by these Starfish are going to manage to do plenty of damage. Zealots do surround the Roaches. And now, Zealot stock combination does definitely beat our Roach, especially if the Zealots manage to get behind those Roaches. Finally, a Roach engagement or Roach reinforcement uh, does swell the numbers in the favor of the Zerg player. Too many units, too little time. Rai has an Immortal on the field, but that is just too many Roaches, especially on creep. You do not want to engage that. Those Roaches are just going to go ahead and pick apart those Stalkers. That Immortal says, see ya later. I want no part of this and heads on home.
So there we go. Great defense by Wu. Uh, he did not lose his hatchery. Looking at the units lost tab. Let's see if I can pull up that units lost tab. Can I even pull it up? No. I am way too far gone into my drink to even pull that up at the moment. Uh, there we go. 13 workers killed by Rai. 8 by Wu. So uh, at the moment, uh, pretty much both players are in... Uh, the same boat uh, being worker count 40 to 46 uh, in the favor definitely of Rai the Protoss player. The food count differential is 110 versus 74. <clears throat> but that is just uh, slightly deceiving especially since those uh, that Roach army is taking up a lot of that uh, supply count. Now double immortal. Uh, only one three sentries there. They might want to get me to get into position to be able to force field this off. Force field do cut the army of the roach. Invaders off guard. They cut him completely in half. The immortals do pick him off. Two uh, photon cannons there for defense. Uh, that it looks like that pylon does go down but it's only powering up that cybernetics for the immortals doing massive amounts of damage three four five kills and finally another roach as well is going to go ahead and swing around at the back of force field does try to cut it off but there are gaps in that engagement they're going to go ahead and push forward and focus down a single immortal so six kills to one that other one i do believe had three maybe even four the, uh, looks like the probes are doing plenty of damage a fresh warping of zealots are going to go ahead and push away these roaches i'm now looking at the workers kill count the uh, rye managed to still stay in the lead but another four workers killed by Wu, and it looks like uh plenty more pounds are being put down to power up uh these warp gates of uh, this robotics facility was 25 percent done on that immortal and now this is just a very precarious situation for Rai. He needs to expand. He needs to do what he needs to do to get up that higher tier tech. Maybe High Templar. Maybe Colossus. But Wu is just not letting him. He's splitting off his arm, uh, army exactly where he needs to. He's going to go push forward with that Roach just to get a sense of where his army is. Maybe draw him off guard. And there he goes. Wu's going to go ahead and push forward. But the gap has been sealed by these columns. Two volleys. He does bring it down very, very quickly. And now it looks like Wu has got himself into a little bit of a situation. But the second column does finally go down. Finds a gap, finds a crease, forces two more forces, and Wu is going ahead and pull on back. Looking back at his base, it doesn't look like he's putting down an infestation pit just yet. He's focusing on this pure uh, roach-heavy army, and that's not where you want to be. At this point of the game, you want to sacrifice yourself. Give yourself five, six seconds to put that in infestation pit, because that will just generally just tear this army apart. Uh, this overseer is just still hanging out, hanging out. Just making sure everything is hunky dory back in base blue and reporting back to base red. And now, uh, looks like these uh, minerals are being kind of uh, heavily mined. It looks like Ryan needs to expand, needs to expand very quickly. Uh, this uh, couple of photon is going to go ahead and try to take out like this. Uh, pylon that is definitely just walling off his own base and it looks like Rai feels safe, feels secure, he's going to go ahead and push out as soon as possible but things back in Wu's base are very very busy he's researching a bunch of stuff at the moment plus two is on the way alongside with tunneling claws alongside with burrow so very interesting choice generally you don't see zerg players doing this especially if your opponent decides to uh, forge fast expand which generally protoss players do when given the chance so tunneling claws is really not that great but it does serve to get past the force fields that the protoss army can do nexus third nexus is fine down no fourth looks like uh Wu does not seem to be trying to take a fourth adjust yet a baneing less so very interesting choice by Wu tunneling clods roaches burrow on the way alongside with banelings so i'm not sure exactly what the composition that Wu is trying to do uh generally you see players like i said zerg going after infestors uh sometimes even going for a spire going for that mutilist caress but now it looks like uh Wu is going to go ahead and just uh focus on uh burrowed roaches and banelings let's see how it works out since rai has himself a sizable force uh of a 138 supplies he's going to go ahead and scatter and make sure there's no cheeky bases no cheeky shenanigans going on around the extremities of the match finally a warp prism on the field for immortals uh and it looks like there's gonna be a little bit of a drop immortal nope picking up picking down picking up getting going out and uh right now who all he has is roaches they are burrowed uh they are underground uh and it looks like an is, is an observer on the field that is the question it doesn't look like an observer is uh in the mix 
for Wu, uh, it is hanging around somewhere. There is definitely an observer on the field, but it doesn't look like there is. It is in the group that is currently on the move, on the march. Gonna go ahead and push forward. Oh, that observer definitely is on the field since it's picking up part. And there it is. There is the observer. Roaches. Board shields uh, preemptively walling off any sort of surround. Bailings are going to be cut off from any sort of detonation on anything whatsoever that is worthwhile. Here comes the massive amounts of force fields. Pick up by these overloads, drop off in the middle of the blaze. Tending Claws is not even being used since it isn't even researched just yet. Is it finished? It is definitely finished. Roach's Burrow, get that massive healing time per second. Look at that. They're going to go ahead and push forward into nothingness. They're going to go ahead and be picked apart very, very quickly. Force Fields again cut them off. Wu is forced to pull back and he just doesn't have an angle to be able to attack with uh, the massive amounts of Force Fields that these sentries can can provide there is a total one two three four five six seven eight sentries oh with plenty of energy for each of them to put down at least two I see what 200 out of 200 so that is 16 force fields at least with another two 18 force fields another engagement does happen force out four more force fields so right now Wu just needs to buy himself some time get himself the reinforcements eight more roaches on production two uh, two roaches get cheeky a third one decides to join says I will not let you die alone and uh, dies with his brothers and Wu is just gonna go ahead and let Rai attack the front of his main expansion or main expansion yes Thunder Claws do provide uh, the necessary uh, advantage to go underneath those forces but there's just too much there for Rai plenty of immortals are there to kill off all of these roaches doing massive amounts of damage each one doing 55 I do believe 55 damage per shot and wow look at the damage that is being done too many stalkers too many sentries too many immortals and through his supply is just plummeting a queen does go down back at home that overseas still hanging out and Wu decides to leave the game oh man that was just uh, not so textbook Sentry Immortal push since this push generally happens about 12 minutes before it actually happens but like, given the fact that he did have a wonky uh, wonky sort of placement on his initial forge uh, early aggression by Wu, everything was just thrown off kilter. What I do believe killed Wu was the fact that he didn't go for um, any infestors, any mutilisk, any type of harassment. He went with banelings, which is a very interesting choice considering that most of the Protoss uh, units are armored. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this replace goes on for another 20 minutes. Not sure exactly what happens. Looks like uh, Rai just wants to kill on everything since he feels he has the advantage. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If not, leave comments down below on what I could do to make these more enjoyable for you. If you have one of your own replays you'd like me to cast, upload them to one of the, one of the major replay sites. Uh, Drop.sc is very, very popular. SC2 replay is also on the web. I'll link them to me and I'll be more than happy to take care of them for you guys. Other than that, that's it for me. And I am out of here.